With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question here says how many ATP are synthesized per glucose molecule in aerobic respiration through substrate level phosphorylation. So there are basically three stages in substrate level phosphorylation. First stage is known as glycolysis. Second stage will be known as malate, aspartate, shuttle. Third stage will be known as Krebs cycle. Let us count the number of ATP. But before that, we need to know that one NADH molecule releases energy which is equal to about 2.5 of ATPs whereas our 1FADH molecule, 1FADH2 molecule, it creates energy which is equal to about 1.5 ATPs. Let us calculate the ATPs now. So in our glycolytic pathway we have 2 ATPs, 2 ATPs plus 1 NADH molecule here, 1 NADH molecule that is 2 ATP plus 2.5 of NADH, 4.5 ATP in total, ATP in total. Here we are getting only 1 FADH2 molecule. So we'll have a 1 FADH2 molecules which means 1.5 of ATP, total gain. From Krebs cycle, so we need to know that Krebs cycle it takes place twice, two times, here during oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvic acid, we have 2 NADH released. 2 NADH released. That will be equal to 2 NADH is equal to 2 into 2.5, 5 ATPs. And from here, we are going to get through this crap cycle, we are going to get 6 NADH, 6 NADH. 2 FADH2 and 2 ATPs that will be equal to 6 into 2.5 is equals to 15 ATPs this will be equal to 2 into 1.5 that is 3 ATPs and there will be 2 ATPs here so total ATP production here in Krebs cycle is 20, 23 25 ATPs, 25 ATPs plus 1.5 ATP, 1.5 ATP plus 4.5 ATP, 4.5 ATP. So this will make 31.0 ATPs. Approximate. So the answer to this question that how many ATP are synthesized per glucose molecule in aerobic respiration will be 30. Option C. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.